Hello, and welcome back to Pacific Drive. Uh, we've got one last thing that we need to go over just before we go into the next area. We've found a, another uh, message here. I've found it in one of the containers on the car. So we'll view it in the logbook. I did it. Singly and Family Hall is back in business. Just as our bills were due. Nobody was uh, hiring us anymore. All of these big companies... There we go. Uh, all these big companies hiring uh, college students to haul trash on the cheap. But they had no finesse, no care. They were, all, uh, they were about to shut me out of my father's business. Of five generations out of second thought. But not anymore. My wife will be so pleased. We have to be in Washington by Monday. Then the government will tell us where to go. They say they will pay us and provide a house and food for my entire family, my brothers, sisters, uncles, and their families too. Enough work for all of us. We're truly blessed. Right, Singley Haulage. I should pay attention to the um, the big trucks on the road. I wonder if they're Singley. Maybe that's where they all ended up. Right. Okay. We shall head out. It's going to be a dangerous route. But we can make it. go through here we'll stop for the big trucks and we'll see if I say it's singly on the side because that's got me curious now but this should just be a straight nice in and out save us some time Right, and again, it does look like it seems to always go through a tunnel this way. Right. said S and F hauling. So I'm guessing Singley and family. We don't want the door. So he was probably, I'm going to guess, um, put in charge of either moving all the equipment about and getting everything put here, or it might have been to do with the evacuation when they were getting everyone out. Either way, he seems to have been involved in a fairly reasonable capacity in getting the place uh, uh, put together and that. We need to install some stuff as well when we get back. I've still not put that auto park, park but I keep forgetting. Uh, 
Right. We'll probably be out of this soon. Um. Okay, we definitely don't want to stop. When did the right door open? Is something... Is that one of our quirks? I was considering maybe going into um, some of the uh, houses, but uh, perhaps not. Saw that, that's a pneumatic tube there, isn't it? Right. Not bad. Right. I can see the exit. Let's go. The right doors come open again. Since we know Park this, the right door opens, doesn't it? That's the quirk, we found one of them. But it's when we put it in park, right. Okay. So, we'll keep that in mind. Right, what have we got? Angry abductors and violent voltage, so... Do not get electrocuted by anything. If anything electrocutes us, we'll take way more damage than normal. Right. Try to avoid what we can. Okay. <coughs> Just a nice, calm. Casual drive where we won't be abducted by aliens. We were unlikely to be at least. Ish. Right. Got a recent tower in the distance back there. You can see the red light coming through the, uh, through the trees. Um,
giant dog will be open now. In there? No. And it'll just be steel on the doors and that. Right. research experiment sites where I could get some lead platelets but I think I'm good for the moment. Um, oh we don't want to be around here for very long. Thankfully that missed. Because again remember We've got lethal voltage out here, so yeah, anything that would be, um, well anything that could electrocute us would be way worse here. Right, let's park up a bit further ahead down the road. I want to be out of the way of that abductor. This has a good chance of really pissing it off. It is important to at least get some energy while we're out here. Um. But yeah. Reason being, <coughs> we want enough to be able to, if we need, make like a hasty escape. Just if need be, in and out through the portal, jobs are good. And ooh. hello, hello. Armored door. Two armored doors. And you a cypher sewer artist. And some stuff. A uh, crude bumper, we're not that fussed about. Okay. Um right. Okay, Liberator. We can fix it. It's massive. Though. It's so massive. Absolutely gonna go for the car. This one isn't even cracked. Lovely. We'll figure this out later on when we're not next to a uh, 
one of these grabbers. Hang on, did I drop the door? No, I didn't. Good. Go. Okay. Quite the get. Um. Right, we'll organise our inventory just here. Out of the way. In relative safety. Okay. So needless to say, when I've been saying, ooh, we don't want to get too much loot or anything, yeah, we really can't get too much loot now. Um, could put it there. Um... Let's move some of this stuff over here. And we can then put this here. Ish. Perfect. Right. Hmm. Thank you. I think the headlights are a bit damaged as well. Has that become fragile? Worn out. Right. Anyway, with that in mind, into the next zone. It is going to be unstable. Do not stop. Do not pass go. Just get straight through. Straight through from here to the exit. Do not stop. That's the key thing here. We cannot, we cannot get uh, held up here. And you can bet there'll be plenty of obstacles. Right. There's some energy as we pull out by the road. We should, if it is safe, pick that up. But we do not want to stay here very long. Not at all. No. It's already a bit unstable. Oh, that's a squire. Oh, but it's covered in electric. That's that's a shame. Yeah, that that's a squire car. They're relatively rare around here. It probably has some armored panels for some decent loot in the back, but it's literally engulfed by a 
in a cloud of electricity. <laughs> is that unstable energy as well? It will be in massive cloud of radiation. <laughs> right. Can barely even make out where to go along there. I don't think this actually connects to the road that we're wanting to go to. But I think we can... Oh no, it does, it does. Ish. Right, so there should be like... Houses on either side of the road. Yeah. And if we follow this along... We should get to the exit. And yeah, when I said there's no time to lose here... I'm not kidding. But this has given us plenty of time to just coast through and we can carefully avoid all this crap in the way. But yeah, things will start spawning in now pretty rapidly, so we want to get out of here. The next zone, and that's also trying, I think this is a battery drain zone, isn't it, this one? Not entirely certain what battery drain does, but maybe it's like if we get hit we lose battery, or maybe it's just while we're there we expend more energy just generally doing stuff, who knows. Either way, not somewhere we want to be. Right. So, looks like there's literally energy everywhere here. See, it didn't matter grabbing all the stuff on the way here. We'll get plenty of stuff just by virtue of being here. We'll get the far one and come back. Okay, grab this one. <coughs> it's all stable energy, but we'll take it. <coughs> if I remember rightly as well, yeah, we've got perpetual stability here. So, we're pretty good. We can stay here as long as we want. Actually, 
is that a uh, apparently there's a science station here you know what there's not a lot we'll just we'll just get through in all fairness the uh, the car's full to be fair Uh, we've nearly filled the side stock as well. Because of the, um, what do you call it, the, uh, we can make that. Go. But yeah, even the side storage is nearly full at this point. Because of those uh, armoured, armoured doors. We'll have nearly a full set then. Come across another one of those squires that you know isn't bathed in electricity this time. We could actually, yeah, get ourselves a full set. We only need the one. Though I would have it, I would have it a guess that we'll probably soon uh, have that anyway. Where's the second one? It's a ways away. And there's our entrance. There's a question. Um, Okay, here's what we're going to do. We're aimed. And it pops out again. I'll be honest. I was hoping to blow it up. That, that was a, just a thought experiment, that. Can we blow it up? Because I'm actually rather curious as to whether you can, like... I mean, I know with the tourists, ooh, nearly stepped on that one. You actually can kind of sort of kill them. And a chuck as well here. Yeah. I actually saw that on the way in, but I got distracted by the uh, by those tourists. Yeah. So much so that I uh, got explained there. Uh -oh. There's another one, and another one. <laughs> Don't take my car for a joyride. Energy is just absolutely maxed out to the full now, pretty much. an armored door we have uh, 
Hello, I'm a door. You're looking quite nice over there, aren't you? Right, let's uh Let's liberate you. And what's in here? Plenty of materials. Um let's prioritize the rarer stuff. Plasma, um That's probably a lot. Okay. That's full. And that's also basically full. Um Have I got plasma somewhere that I can stack this with so it's not in my hands? Yes. I'm thinking is my No, I, I was wondering if my right light wasn't shining there. No, it's not showing us it's not shining on here. Must be fine. I hope it is. No, oh, actually. There's a building back there. It's up there, isn't it? Yeah, I'm not gonna. Maybe we go through here and we, will, we seem to be going up a bit. Maybe we'll come out next to it. There's the possibility. Definitely trying to direct us in this uh, in this way, so we'll trust it for now. Just trust in the game. Because you often see this in games, they tend to direct you using light. So you'll notice everywhere else is 
dark, but there's these what seem to be like some sort of street lamp things going all the way down here. Right? Ow. Right. Follow the lights, it seems to be leading us to where we need to go. Thankfully. Nice and simple. Couldn't be simpler actually. You see all these winds and turns and obstacles in the way aren't exactly on the map. Here now. I'm betting that big building at the top. Maybe we need to like flick a switch to open a giant gate or something. Or maybe we'll just get through. Battery is actually nearly down to half, if you can believe it. And that would be the exit gates. I hope that we can like start from there in the future. That we don't start back at base. I really hope that we can just fast travel here and start in the second layer because otherwise these runs are going to get very long. Hello friend, welcome to our side of the wall. Oh, what's this? Your connection to Wabi is jammed. Oh, uh, worry not. Our signal is crystal clear. A little bit obvious, don't you think? <laughs> right, ask me if I can. Yeah, the mid zone's been marinated in all this radiation for so long. Things don't work the same as they do in the outer zone. But the good news is, we live here. We can help you, no sweat. <clears throat> uh, first things first, we've got to extend the signal from the garage. Otherwise, Avi's equipment won't be much help. Hooking you into a mid-zone stabilizer should do the trick. Look around. You should be able to see one up a hill somewhere. Okay. We've got perpetual stability. So we can take some time to explore and look at the weirdness. <laughs> Cough box. Giant orb. Salamander Grotto Hand van. Marsh eggs Hello, we've been needing some of those
Let's see if we can find something to just toss. Like the big orb thingy. Like a little bit of scrap or something. I mean, we could go into the deadly. Oh god, the deadly radiation cloud. It is very deadly. Radiation here is not a joke then, so this is going to be like the radiation zone, I'm guessing. Wow, we've got like 90 odd of the things. scrap these for anything. Are these plants anything? No, okay. Um. I know. Don't completely explode. Huh. Well. wasn't a flute, was it? Nope. They don't blow up if you toss stuff at them. But I'm gonna have it, I'm gonna put a guess out there that they probably will, I bet, if you crash the car into them. Worn out. Close to giving up. Its winding's burned out and its casing is worn. While it hasn't died yet, it's still trying its best. It's worth replacing this when you get the chance. So we need to get up there. Um, that might be a tall out. That might be a bit of a steep ask in the car. Um, I think it's trying to make us go through the water. We're going to avoid doing that. We're just going to go around. Hello. Hello. I'm a Dawes. chemicals. Um, we have a full set for do in fact, no, we don't. Is the back door, isn't there? But we can't possibly carry it. Unless we carried it in our hands. We'd have to physically carry it uh, out with us.
Hmm. It's doable. But we are about to probably unlock these. That's what I should do. Right, okay. I have decided. What we're going to do is we are going to grab the door. In fact, we've already got one. So, yeah. Right, okay. Steel door. Steel door. Steel door. Dying steel door. Um, and equip. Armored door that's about to give up the ghost. No, not. God, that nearly pressed the wrong button there. Right. Okay. And we do need one more. And this one's cracked as well. <laughs> okay. We'll break these down. Waste not want not and all that, eh? And one, two, three. Ooh, that one's been pretty good, Nick. Um, that one's about to explode. Right. And that's how we do it. Uh, in fact, we can get the rest of the stuff on the back of here as well now. Except we don't actually want that panel. No. Okay, a extremely good haul, we're fully armoured, we're repaired, and we can cruise around here to our destination. Do the buildings contain different stuff in here than in the first area? That is the question, isn't it? We'll just be quick. As 
well. Is that a steel sheet? Yes, it is. Steel sheet, but nah. Not worth it. Battery is about just a bit over halfway left. Yeah, just about over half left. Um, actually, pretty good in terms of um, yeah, pretty good in terms of uh, resources and that. So. We won't need to recharge, we won't need to do anything like that soon. Um, we have two uh, two cans worth of fuel in the back in case we need them. I'm... Oh, what was that? Keep looking at the rear view mirror just in case something comes up around the back of the car. Avoid the death fog. Just a regular wreck, nothing special there. Ooh. Oh. Electric interference. Isn't it something to do with that thing? Shaggy Scrambler. I'm guessing it messes with your car then. Like electronic interference, that sort of thing. It's got some range to it. Get that much. <laughs> right. Let's give this a look, see then. stuck. Right, we'll have a quick look through the uh, buildings here and then we'll do the anchor point. Is that something? No. I'm, I'm just looking at all like, the different plants now because before we just had normal plants. So you know if it's something that's important that you should pick up because it would look weird. Whereas here everything looks weird. You know, crazy red plants everywhere. It's like, so are those an anomaly? Do, are these a rare item? I don't know. Um, might as well use that. Can't fit it in. Right. And the next one was over here. Impact hammers ready to give up the ghost as it looks like. Um, right. Open this 
this up. stuff about. And that's all of it. Right. Okay. Now we are fast approaching the hour mark. So I think we're unfortunately going to have to cut it here. Because again if you've not been looking at the previous episodes then the PlayStation share play thing does hard cap the episodes at an hour when I'm recording. So we will have to end it here because we're about 56 minutes. We'll get this looked at, grab some of these maybe, and head out next time then. Thank you very much for watching. This has been Pacific Drive. And yeah, we are laden with stuff. Even our second storage is nearly full. So we are ram jam full of stuff and that's... We didn't even loot a whole ton. We could have done a lot more. Anyway, I'll see you on the next episode where we'll try to make out here like a bandit. I'll see you then.